friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And I'm here today to talk about my homemade chicken scratch. And this is just what I do and it does change through the year and depending also on what I have on hand. Now when it comes to chicken feed, my very favorite for my chickens is the organic non-GMO scratch and peck brand feed. And you can see a picture of it right here. And for us, I found the cheapest place to get it is at our coastal store that's about 75 miles away from us, but it's also in the same town where our Costco is. So we usually make a trip in there once every three to four months and then at that time we'll hit both places and stock up on what we need the coastal store we also get a 10 percent discount because of patrick being a veteran and that's any day of the week and so we utilize that and we do actually save 10 percent when we go in there and purchase that so that is my favorite however yes you can also make your own blend of feed for your chickens as well and amy fuel has in her book so if you're if you're keeping chickens now or you're thinking of keeping chickens i highly recommend i think this is a must-have the homesteaders natural chicken chicken keeping handbook so you really need to get this book if you don't have it already and so i will link to it down below and amy fuel is just a really great lady she has her own youtube channel as well but she does have a couple of really great books and the other one before this is on the herbs the homesteaders herbal companion so i recommend this book again she's got to think at least one recipe in there for chicken feed to make your own i also know that stacy over at uh off grid with Doug and Stacy has a recipe that she shares for making her own chicken feed for her chickens. I will link to that down below so you can check out her recipe, what she uses. I think she switches it up as well. So this is about the scratch, not the feed. I may eventually switch over. I just know that I can get that feed for probably a better price than what it would cost me to mix my own. And I know it's organic and non-GMO, but when it comes to scratch, that's a different story. So I do make my own blend, but this here is their winter blend. And what is in this, I use about two parts of black oil sunflower seeds, which are really good for chickens and they love them. It's their favorite treat. About one part of oats, I just use rolled oats, but you can also use oat groats. But I always have rolled oats on hand, so that's what I use because I stock up on those for both us and for the chickens. This one is just three different things. The third thing in here is one part whole wheat berries, and this is the white wheat that I have in here. Now, the reason for this particular blend is because if you watch my video I did on freezing grains and why I am now starting to freeze grains, well, the, the wheat berries that are in here are the ones that ended up getting weevils in them. They didn't have very many, many, but enough that I decided it's time for me to start freezing my grains. Weevils were never a problem. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, weevils. So now I freeze my grains. So I stuck those grains in the freezer and decided what I would do is use that to make their chicken scratch. Normally what I was doing uh, until this blend was I was getting the scratch and peck three grain scratch blend as well. And I do, do still have that, but here's the thing. My chickens, though, they like it okay. They just don't like it as much as the other things that are in this. And usually that is the last thing they'll eat. So I'm probably not going to be buying that anymore. I think I'm just gonna start making all of their scratch like I did here because with this, they're eating everything in here. Actually, I take that back. I think the wheat grains are two parts. I think it's two parts of the wheat, two parts of the sunflower seeds, and then one part of the oats. So that applies to if I'm using the three grain scratch blend, I'll do two parts of the scratch blend, two parts of the sunflower seeds, and then one part of the oats. And then during the time of the year that they're laying, I add something extra to that, and that is the split peas. They do not eat them during the winter, but they eat them when they're laying. So what that tells me is that is when they need that protein the most. And so I will add one part of those to my blend. So if you're looking at it laid out like this, it might look like two cups of sunflower seeds, two cups of wheat grains or the three grain scratch blend, 
one cup of oats and one cup of the split peas. But obviously I just make up a bunch at a time and I actually now keep it in two separate bags. So I have one bag here in the house and I'll just use a bag that one of the grains already came in and when it gets down to the bottom, like this picture right here, you'll see this is a black oil sunflower seeds I get from Costco, best price I've seen anywhere because you can get a really big bag for a good price and it, that's actually the cheapest part of their of their scratch right there so thankfully it's their favorite and then what I do is I start adding the other grains in there once the bag gets low enough and then just blend it all together in that bag so I have one place you can also do this in a big bucket now out in the chicken coop I have another bag and that bag is sitting down inside a galvanized trash can so it's not going to rust and it's going to be protected from rats and mice and so I have a bag of my scratch blend sitting in on one side and then on the other side would be the bag of the feed that I get the scratch and peck blend now there's all other kinds of grains that you can feed to their, your chickens and I will occasionally throw out other little treats like maybe some flax seed here or some other kind of seed or even some raw shelled sunflower seeds that we have in that uh, we decided we didn't really care for. I had bought these organic raw shelled sunflower seeds for Patrick when he was working and didn't really care for them so they haven't they've been just sitting up there since like 2013 or 2014 and so what i'm doing as a special treat is i'll throw a handful of those out to the chickens because somebody's got to eat them this is one of the great things about having chickens is yes you can eat those weevils they're not going to hurt you but if you're a little bit squeamish about it and you have chickens and you're going to make their own scratch or and feed anyway just use the weevil infested grains and then buy yourself some new stuff. Give that to the chickens because they'll love those weevils. They're good for them. And, and I, I love having chickens because they clean up a lot of stuff that the, us and the dog won't eat. <laughs> some other grains you can consider also is millet i've never actually tried giving millet to my chickens except for back when i first had my chickens and i was just buying what i could get when it came to scratch and uh feed and uh and it wasn't all organic and non-gmo like i wanted but i just couldn't really afford the funds at the time to go that extra route and at the time we didn't have that store in there that has the great price on organic feed so some of these things you kind of work yourself into but anyway the scratch i was getting for them was did have millet in it and they would eat it but not all chickens like that just like not all chickens will eat the split peas some will some won't mine will eat them but they'll only eat it during the time that they're laying so with that in mind that's one of the things that you want to watch for especially if you're looking at making your own scratch and your own feed is all everybody's chickens all chickens have different tastes like some of my chickens will just gobble down them baby them little slugs just like there's no tomorrow where my black chickens just they don't really eat those and but they can be taught to eat slugs and snails you just got to chop them up when they're little chicks chop them up small and feed them to them it's a gross process but give them the taste for it and they'll start eating them but anyway you know as you're trying these different things pay attention to what your chickens are leaving behind and they may eventually go back and eat it like the three grain scratch blend by scratch and peck they will eventually maybe go back and eat it if they're really hungry especially during the time of the year that they're laying they tend to eat more and also during that time they're more blocked off from the other garden areas so they don't have as many areas to roam thus they need a little bit more anyway because they're not able to get in there and get all the bugs and slugs that they would get throughout the the winter when i open all the garden areas up to the chickens so they can get all those things and till up the garden and uh feed it with their manure it's going to depend on how free range are your chickens what areas you let them roam in what time of the year it is and if they're laying heavily or not is all going to play a part in what they're going to eat and not eat and so i just i just watch my chickens and i feed them according to what i know that they need by what they show me in their habits and i'm always willing to try adding new grains and seeds again periodically just throw them something out there just to have a special treat that's different than what they usually get and my chickens also have the freedom to eat any scraps that i throw out there from the kitchen so as i said in a recent video i just shot about garden amendments well 
I throw, instead of having a separate compost pile, we throw all our compost directly in the garden all year long, even when it's growing. It all, I might just kind of hide it under some plants during that time of the year, but yes, it all just gets tossed out there. That way, and during the winter time is when chickens have the freedom to go in there and they can peck through what they want and what they don't want. And then during the times of the year when the chicken, when I have to block the chickens off from my garden, then I might throw the things I know they really like out in the areas that they can access it. With that in mind too, as you can see back here, I have two different jars of their own eggshells. So I always save all their eggshells. They get used in various different ways. Eggshells, when they're ground up like this, can be used for us. So I'll use it as a supplement for myself, or it can be used in the garden, but like this is how I like to give it directly to the chickens, especially during the time of the year that they're laying. You don't, you can mix it in with their scratch or their feed if you want, uh, but it's not really necessary, at least not with my chickens. I just throw it out there in pieces so they can easily peck it up off the ground and they will gobble it down. They actually love eating their own eggshells, but you wanna make sure you don't just throw an eggshell out there. Make sure you crunch it up in such a way that it doesn't look like the eggs that they lay. You don't want it in any kind of whole form because once they realize that this is coming from what they lay, they might start eating their own eggs. So you know, just make sure that whatever you throw out there egg wise, it doesn't look like a chicken egg. <laughs> so anyway, I like keeping it more in pieces and they love this. So usually what happens in the morning, if I'm making, you know, any kind of eggs for breakfast, and then I will rinse them out, let them dry. And once they're dry, I just crunch them up and throw them out there. And then if I have a lot of excess, I just start putting them in a jar like this. And because during the winter, they don't, they don't need the egg shells as much. They need those more when they're laying eggs. And that's also going to help give them stronger egg shells for when they're egg, laying eggs. So they're just, they're putting out the egg shells and then you just put it back into them so that they can make better egg shells. It's one of those things where just like anything else, just like your gardening, just like whatever it is that you do, when it comes to taking care of your chickens, it's making the most of what you already have and what is available to you. And you don't have to spend a ton of money. All right, well, that's it. And if you have any ideas and your favorite things to make, if you're making your own scratch or your own feed, what are your favorite things to mix? What do your chickens like? How do you blend it? What's your ratios? And go ahead and share with us down below. And also, again, I want to remind you, don't forget to check out Amy's book. And if you don't have it already, you really need to get it in your library. All right, well, thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.